Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use BVH files to animate your 3D model character models in Blender very quickly. BVH files for those of you that don't know are motion capture files that you can import into Blender and apply to your existing models to create uh, simple animations based on other people's mocap data. So here we've got a very simple running um, character and this is just a simple human base mesh with a BVH file of someone running attached to it. So if we have a look I've got my simple character model here that we worked on in a previous tutorial nothing much going on there very 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 basic um, not the greatest topology and what we're going to do is we're going to download a BVH file from an online directory called CG Speed and then we're going to apply it. So first of all I've got my browser open already and we've got the website CG Speed here and I've just gone into um, they've got a page on motion capture where they've got some BVH files which is the motion capture data files and I've gone to the motion friendly version oh. and down here we can see we've got all these directories for different mocap animation data files so this is all the character animation files that we're going to need and it's just data that we can apply to our model so I've already clicked and downloaded a few of these we can see I've downloaded that one there so just give it a click okay and when it loads up it loads up the media fire prompt you to download obviously be careful what you're downloading off the internet I'm not trying to convince you to download anything but I'll click that to download it'll pop up my downloads down here now I've already got that so I'm going to cancel that and if we go into Blender what we're going to do is we're going to first of all import the BVH file into Blender so I'm going to go file import and you see there's an option over here for motion capture and it says .bvh because that's the file type of motion capture we're going to use in Blender. Give that a click, go to the directory where you've saved it, mine's in the folder CMU convert and if we go into 16 we'll just grab any one of these and double click it and there you go and we see it's brought in our armature over here this is the motion capture one and we can see if I move along my timeline that's what action it's going to do, someone run around looks like they're going to run around in a circle kind of thing there but what we need to do first is we need to apply it to our model and this is where it's going to get slightly tricky so first of all we've with our armature selected go to the armature settings over here and turn it to rest position okay next thing we're going to do is I'm turn my plane off we're going to take our, our model so I've got my human model here and we're going to try and line that up with the BVH file. And I'm going to go back into the, the armature, turn on X ray mode so I can see through and see how it's looking. So, not quite right there. So, set that cube. And we want it as good as it can possibly be, really. Ding. even need to just increase the size of that a little bit there we go that's better and I'm going to go into my model now and I'm just going to go into edit mode and I'm going to move some of these around a little bit so that it lines up with my model so I'm going to hit Z to go into wireframe mode select my armature's legs and just try and get those lined up and as we can see that one wants to be a bit of a pain and I still need to sort out these feet so just spending a couple of minutes just going through trying to get it so that it all works and it all lines up with your model's geometry mm -hmm. okay, okay.
and I'm just gonna bring those forward a bit as well. And so you see, it's a little bit fiddly, but it shouldn't take too long. So go back into my object mode. So now I've got my armature roughly in line with my my character. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to parent it. So first of all, I'm going to select my my model, which is called Cube. Then I'm going to hold down Shift on the keyboard, select my armature, go to the Object menu, and then go Parent with automatic weights. Give that a click and it comes up again. Set parent to armature deform and we want to click with automatic weights again. And now that should have parented this armature to that model. And if we go into pose position now, it moves the model we can see, which is good. A good first sign. And now if we hit play, or well, first of all we'll select our armature and turn X-ray off. But now if we hit play down on the timeline it should work and there we go as easy as that so we've applied some motion capture character animation data to our model quickly and easily minimum of fuss so remember have a look at CG speeds motion capture section find the BVH files I use the motion builder ones download them and then it's import them into blender and then carefully rig up your model and there you go nice and easy thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed